Tokyo Electric Power Company Holdings, Inc., Dong Jing Dian Li Ho Rudingusu Zushi Weishi Tokyo Denryoku Horidingusu Kabushiki Gaisha, Taiyo, 9501, also known as Toden, Dong Dian Toden or Tepco, is a Japanese electric utility holding company servicing Japan's Kanto region, Yamanashi Prefecture, and the eastern portion of Shizuoka Prefecture. This area includes Tokyo. Its headquarters are located in Uchisaiwaicho, Chiyoda, Tokyo, and international branch offices exist in Washington, D.C., and London. It is a founding member of strategic consortiums related to energy innovation and research, such as JINED, INCJ, and MI. In 2007, TEPCO was forced to shut the Kasiwazaki Kariwa nuclear power plant after the Niigata Chuetsu Oki earthquake. That year, it posted its first loss in 28 years. Corporate losses continued until the plant reopened in 2009. Following the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, one of its power plants was the site of one of the world's most serious continuing nuclear disaster, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster. TEPCO could face 2 trillion yen $23.6 billion in special losses in the current business year to March 2012, and the Japanese government plans to put TEPCO under effective state control to guarantee compensation payments to the people affected by the accident. The Fukushima disaster displaced 50,000 households in the evacuation zone because of leaks of radioactive materials into the air, soil, and sea. In July 2012, TEPCO received 1 trillion yen from the Japanese government in order to prevent collapse of the company to ensure electricity is still being supplied to Tokyo and its surrounding municipalities, and for the decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. TEPCO's management subsequently made a proposal to its shareholders for the company to be part nationalized. The Nuclear Damage Compensation and Decommissioning Facilitation Corporation later became the majority stockholder to oversee damages and decommissioning of the power plant. The total cost of the disaster was estimated at $100 billion in May 2012. History Japan's nine electric companies, including TEPCO were established in 1951 with the end of the state-run electric industry regime for national wartime mobilization. In the 1950s, the company's primary goal was to facilitate a rapid recovery from the infrastructure devastation of World War II. After the recovery period, the company had to expand its supply capacity to catch up with the country's rapid economic growth by developing fossil fuel power plants and a more efficient transmission network. In the 1960s and 1970s, the company faced the challenges of increased environmental pollution and oil shocks. TEPCO began addressing environmental concerns through expansion of its LNG-fueled power plant network as well as greater reliance on nuclear power generation. The first nuclear unit at the Fukushima Daiichi Fukushima I nuclear power plant began operational generation on March 26, 1971. During the 1980s and 1990s, the widespread use of air conditioners and IT, OA appliances resulted a gap between day and night electricity demand. 
in order to reduce surplus generation capacity and increase capacity utilization, TEPCO developed pumped storage hydroelectric power plants and promoted thermal storage units. Recently, TEPCO is expected to play a key role in achieving Japan's targets for reduced carbon dioxide emissions under the Kyoto Protocol. It also faces difficulties related to the trend towards deregulation in Japan's electric industry as well as low power demand growth. In light of these circumstances, TEPCO launched an extensive sales promotion campaign called Switch, promoting all electric housing in order to both achieve the more efficient use of its generation capacity as well as erode the market share of gas companies. Topic major subsidiaries As Tokyo Electric Power Company Holdings, Inc. is a holding company, there are several major wholly owned subsidiaries. TEPCO Power Grid, responsible for managing power grid around Kanto region and transmits and distributes electricity between electricity wholesaler and retailer. TEPCO Energy Partner, electricity retailer operating under TEPCO brand throughout Japan, except Okinawa. TEPCO Fuel and Power, operates fossil fuel power stations mainly for TEPCO Energy Partner. Tokyo Electric Generation Company, generates wholesale electricity for electricity market. Tokyo Electric Power Services Co. Limited Tepsco provides consulting services for electric power industry. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Corporate overview. Capital stock: 676,424,000,000. Total outstanding shares, 1,352,876,531 Number of shareholders, 821,841 Electricity sales, FY 2004, 92,592 million kilowatt hours. Lighting, 194,148 million kilowatt hours. Power, 286,741 million kilowatt hours. Total. Peak demand: 64.3 million kilowatts, July 24, 2001. Number of customers: ending March 31, 2005, 25,120,000, 83.89 million kilowatts. Lighting: 2,630,000, 39 39.75 million kilowatt hours. Power: 27,740,000, 123.64 kilowatts. Total Revenue from electricity sales, 4,637 yen. 2 billion yen FY 2004. Community compensation Tokyo Electric Power could face 2 trillion yen $23.60 BLN in special losses in the current business year to March 2012 to compensate communities near its crippled Fukushima nuclear plant, according to JP Morgan. Japan plans to put TEPCO under effective state control so it can meet its compensation payments to people affected by radiation from its Fukushima I plant. Tokyo will set aside several trillion yen in public funds that TEPCO can dip into if it runs short for payouts to people affected. Topic: 
Salary pay cuts The company workers agreed to a management proposal to cut their pay as a sense of responsibility for the world's worst nuclear disaster. Annual remuneration for board members will be reduced by 50% since April 2011, while payment for managers will be cut by 25% and workers by 20% both since July 2011 and bonuses since June 2011. The company expects to save about 54 billion yen $659 million a year from the pay cuts. In July 2012, it was announced that annual salaries of managers will be reduced by at least 30%, with workers' pay cut remaining at 20%. On average employees' pay would be cut by 23.68%. In addition, the portion of the employee health insurance program that the company covers will be reduced from 60% to 50%, the standard in Japan. <laughs> Sale of hospital IN was announced in July 2012 that the company would sell the hospital it owns in Shinjuku Ward in Tokyo. The hospital is used exclusively by current and former TEPCO employees and their families. Its market value is 8.6 billion yen. Power stations and generation capacity Hydro, 160, 8521.0 MW Thermal, oil, coal, lane, PG, geothermal, 26, 36,995 MW Nuclear, 3, 17,308.0 MW Wind, 1, 1.0 MW Total, 1602825 MW Topic: <laughs> Position in the industry TEPCO is the largest electric utility in Japan and the fourth largest electric utility in the world after German RWE, French Électricité de France and Germany's E.ON. As TEPCO stands in a leading position in this industry, they have relatively a strong effect for Japanese economics, environment, and energy industry. Topic: Management and Finance. For the fiscal years ending in 2011, 2012, the company had a pre-tax loss. In 2013, the deficit was 377.6 billion yen. In the following year, 2014, red figures were expected too. Topic: Generation. The company's power generation consists of two main networks. Fossil fuel power plants around Tokyo Bay are used for peak load supply, and nuclear reactors in Fukushima and Niigata Prefecture provide base load supply. Additionally, hydroelectric plants in the mountainous areas outside the Kanto Plain, despite their relatively small capacity compared to fossil fuel and nuclear generation, remain important in providing peak load supply. The company also purchases electricity from other regional or wholesale electric power companies like Tohoku Electric Power, J Power, and Japan Atomic Power Company. Topic: 
Transmission and distribution The company has built a radiated and circular grid between power plants and urban, industrial demand areas. Each transmission line is designed to transmit electricity at high voltage 66 to 500 kV between power plants and substations. Normally transmission lines are strung between towers, but within the Tokyo metropolitan area high voltage lines are located underground. From substations, electricity is transmitted via the distribution grid at low voltage 22 to 66 kV. For high voltage supply to large buildings and factories, distribution lines are directly connected to customers' electricity systems. In this case, customers must purchase and set up transformers and other equipment to run electric appliances. For low voltage supply to houses and small shops, distribution lines are first connected to the company's transformers seen on utility poles and utility boxes, converted to 100 200ths of a volt, and finally connected to end users. Under normal conditions, TEPCO's transmission and distribution infrastructure is notable as one of the most reliable electricity networks in the world. Blackout frequency and average recovery time compares favorably with other electric companies in Japan as well as within other developed countries. The company instituted its first ever rolling blackouts following the shutdown of the Fukushima I and II plants which were close to the epicenter of the March 2011 earthquake. For example, on the morning of Tuesday March 15, 2011, 700,000 households had no power for three hours. The company had to deal with a 10 million kilowatts gap between demand and production on March 14, 2011. Topic: <laughs> Corporate image. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Safety incidents. On August 29, 2002, the government of Japan revealed that TEPCO was guilty of false reporting in routine governmental inspection of its nuclear plants and systematic concealment of plant safety incidents. All 17 of its boiling water reactors were shut down for inspection as a result. TEPCO's chairman Hiroshi Araki, President Nobuya Minami, Vice President Toshiaki Inomoto, as well as the advisors Sho Nasu and Gaishi Hiraiwa stepped down by September 30, 2002. The utility eventually admitted to 200 occasions over more than two decades between 1977 and 2002, involving the submission of false technical data to authorities." Upon taking over leadership responsibilities, TEPCO's new president issued a public commitment that the company would take all the countermeasures necessary to prevent fraud and restore the nation's confidence. By the end of 2005, generation at suspended plants had been restarted, with government approval. In 2007, however, the company announced to the public that an internal investigation had revealed a large number of unreported incidents. These included an unexpected unit criticality in 1978 and additional systematic false reporting, which had not been uncovered during the 2002 inquiry. Along with scandals at other Japanese electric companies, this failure to ensure corporate compliance resulted in strong public criticism of Japan's electric power industry and the nation's nuclear energy policy. 
Again, the company made no effort to identify those responsible. Topic: 2008 shutdown. In 2008, Tokyo Electric, forced to shut the Kasiwazaki Kariwa nuclear power plant after an earthquake, posted its first loss in 28 years as oil and gas costs soared. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear accidents. On the 11th of March 2011, several nuclear reactors in Japan were badly damaged by the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. The Tokai nuclear power plant lost external electric power, experienced the failure of one of its two cooling pumps and two of its three emergency power generators. External electric power could only be restored two days after the earthquake. The Japanese government declared an atomic power emergency and evacuated thousands of residents living close to TEPCO's Fukushima I plant. Reactors 4, 5, and 6 had been shut down prior to the earthquake for planned maintenance. The remaining reactors were shut down automatically after the earthquake, but the subsequent tsunami flooded the plant, knocking out emergency generators needed to run pumps which cool and control the reactors. The flooding and earthquake damage prevented assistance being brought from elsewhere. Over the following days there was evidence of partial nuclear meltdowns in reactors 1, 2 and 3. Hydrogen explosions destroyed the upper cladding of the building housing reactors 1 and 3. An explosion damaged reactor 2's containment and severe fires broke out at reactor 4. The Fukushima nuclear disaster revealed the dangers of building multiple nuclear reactor units close to one another. This proximity triggered the parallel, chain reaction accidents that led to hydrogen explosions blowing the roofs off reactor buildings and water draining from open air spent fuel pools a situation that was potentially more dangerous than the loss of reactor cooling itself. Because of the proximity of the reactors, plant director Masao Yoshida was put in the position of trying to cope simultaneously with core meltdowns at three reactors and exposed fuel pools at three units. The Japanese authorities rated the events at reactors 1, 2 and 3 as a level 5 accident with wider consequences on the international nuclear event scale, while the events at reactor 4 were placed at level 3 serious incident. The situation as a whole was rated as level 7 major accident. On 20 March, Japan's chief cabinet secretary Yukio Adano confirmed for the first time that the nuclear complex with heavy damage to reactors and buildings and with radioactive contamination throughout would be closed once the crisis was over. At the same time, questions are being asked, looking back, about whether company management waited too long before pumping seawater into the plant, a measure that would ruin and has now ruined the reactors, and, looking forward, whether time is working for or against the workers and soldiers struggling to re-establish cooling at the crippled plant. One report noted that Defense Minister, Toshimi Kitazawa, on 21 March had committed "...military firefighters to spray water around the clock on an overheated storage pool at reactor No. 3." The report concluded with a senior nuclear executive who insisted on anonymity but has many contacts in Japan saw Ying that Caution 
as plant operators have been struggling to reduce workers' risk had increased the risk of a serious accident. He suggested that Japan's military assume primary responsibility. It's the same trade-off you have to make in war, and that is the sacrifice of a few for the safety of many, he said. But a corporation just cannot do that. There has been considerable criticism to the way TEPCO handled the crisis. It was reported that seawater was used only after Prime Minister Naoto Kan ordered it following an explosion at one reactor the evening of 12 March, though executives had started considering it that morning. TEPCO didn't begin using seawater at other reactors until 13 March. Referring to that same early decision-making sequence. Michael Friedlander, a former senior operator at a Pennsylvania power plant with General Electric reactors similar to the troubled ones in Japan, said the crucial question is whether Japanese officials followed GE's emergency operating procedures. Kuni Yogo, a former atomic energy policy planner in Japan's Science and Technology Agency and Akira Omoto, a former TEPCO executive and a member of the Japanese Atomic Energy Commission both questioned TEPCO's management's decisions in the crisis. Kazuma Yokota, a safety inspector with Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency, or NISA, was at Fukushima I at the time of the earthquake and tsunami and provided details of the early progression of the crisis. The Fukushima disaster displaced 50,000 households in the evacuation zone because of radioactivity releases into the air, soil, and sea. In 2012 it was reported that 8.5 tons of radioactive water had leaked from Fukushima Daiichi No. 4. In June 2012 TEPCO revealed, that in 2006 and 2008 TEPCO employees made two studies in which the effect of tsunami waves higher than the official Expected height of 5.7 meters was studied on the performance of the reactors. This was done after the large Indian Ocean tsunami in 2004. The conclusion from the simulation in 2006 was, that a 13.5 meter wave would cause a complete loss of all power and would make it impossible to inject water into reactor number 5. The costs to protect the plant for such an event was estimated to be about $25 million. In 2008 the effect of a 10-meter high tsunami was calculated. TEPCO failed in both cases to take advantage of this knowledge, and nothing was done to prevent such an event to happen, because the study sessions were conducted only as a training for junior employees, and the company did not really expect such large tsunamis. TEPCO subsequently signed a partnership with French company Areva to treat the contaminated water. In 2016, three former TEPCO executives, Chairman Sunehisa Katsumata and two vice presidents, were indicted for negligence resulting in death and injury. <laughs> Company future On 30 March 2011, the president of TEPCO, Masataka Shimizu, was hospitalized with symptoms of dizziness and high blood pressure in the wake of an increasingly serious outlook for the Fukushima plant and increasing levels of radiation from the stricken plant, as well as media reports of TEPCO's imminent nationalization or bankruptcy triggered by the situation at the 
the Fukushima plant. On July 31, 2012, TEPCO was substantially nationalized by receiving a capital injection of 1 trillion yen $12.5 billion from the Nuclear Damage Liability Facilitation Fund currently Nuclear Damage Compensation and Decommissioning Facilitation Corporation, a government-backed support body. The fund holds the majority of voting rights with an option to raise that figure to 88.69% by converting preferred stocks into common stocks. This Japan's biggest utility had received by the end of February 2016 at least 5.7609 trillion yen in state support since the tsunami. The total cost of the disaster was estimated at $100 billion in May 2012. In April all Japanese nuclear reactors were closed. <laughs> <laughs> Offices <laughs> Power plants Topic: Nuclear. In March 2008, Tokyo Electric announced that the start of operation of four new nuclear power reactors would be postponed by one year due to the incorporation of new earthquake resistance assessments. Units 7 and 8 of the Fukushima Daiichi plant would now enter commercial operation in October 2014 and October 2015, respectively. However, following the nuclear crisis of 2011, these plans have been cancelled. According to TEPCO's official regulatory paper, starting operation of Higashidori is expressed as not yet determined. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Fossil fuel. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hydro. TEPCO has a total of 160 hydroelectric stations with a total capacity of 8,520 megawatts. The largest pumped storage plants are Nagawado Dam 623 megawatts Shin Takasagawa Pumped Storage Station 1,280 megawatts Tamahara Pumped Storage Power Station 1200 megawatts Shiobara Pumped Storage Plant 900 megawatts Amaichi Pumped Storage Plant 1050 megawatts Kazunogawa Pumped Storage Power Station 800 megawatts Kanagawa Hydropower Plant 2820 megawatts Topic Electric Vehicle Batteries and Recharging Under the lead of an organization affiliated with the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, the Tokyo Electric Power Company is working out next-gen car battery norms. It has developed a specification for high-voltage DC automotive fast charging using a Jari Level 3 DC connector, and formed the CH Lambda Demo stands for Charge and Move Association with Japanese automakers Mitsubishi, Nissan and Subaru to promote it. The city of Tokyo, second largest shareholder 
On the 11th of April 2012, TEPCO announced that Tokyo had temporarily become the largest shareholder of the firm with 9.37% voting rights. After former largest shareholders Daiichi Life Nippon Life Insurance Co. and Nippon Life Insurance Co. had sold their 3.42 and 3.29% stakes in the company. The two life insurance companies had lost their interest in TEPCO after the shares had lost almost all their value at the stock market. At the next shareholders meeting of TEPCO in June 2012, Tokyo hoped to put a halt to TEPCO's plans raising the price of electricity. This position was changed by later ownership changes. TEPCO to cancel nuclear promotion abroad Early June 2012 TEPCO announced that it would cancel all export of nuclear expertise abroad, because it needed to focus on the stabilization of the damaged reactors in Fukushima. All participation in a program to supply and run two nuclear reactors at a plant in Vietnam would be cancelled. This project undertaken by International Nuclear Energy Development, a public company set up in 2010 by heavy machinery producers and power companies, including TEPCO, aims to promote Japanese nuclear expertise and exports. According to Naomi Hirose, director of TEPCO, our atomic power engineers still need to do a lot more to stabilize and decommission the reactors at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi plant, and, it is impossible, to abandon the domestic task and promote exports. See also Denko Chan, Dinkaken recently discontinued mascot character, designed by manga artist Shungasu Uchida Masataka Shimizu, TEPCO president during the March 11, 2011 disaster Chadamo, electric vehicle standard Ikakute Nuclear power in Japan International Nuclear Energy Development of Japan Co. Limited JINED Innovation Network Corporation of Japan INCJ Radiation effects from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster Subaru R1E Masao Yoshida nuclear engineer Shunichi Yamashita, physician in radiation sickness field. Murder of Yasuko Watanabe, familiarly known as Tepco OL murder case. In Japan, Fukushima 50, name for workers remaining on site of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster. <laughs>